Hi everyone, it's Vicki, aka Cruzarella, and I have some items for you today that I bought on my recent travels. So I just thought I would do a haul of two of my cruises and what I purchased on those. A couple items are missing from it, and I'll just tell you about those. So the first one is from a Harnival, Carnival cruise. <laughs> so I say Holland American and Carnival and came out with Carnival. <laughs> this is from my Carnival cruise that went to um, Grand Cayman and Cozumel. I think I have all this stuff right. Doesn't matter. <laughs> all right, let me just empty it all out of this bag. Well, the bag is the first item that I purchased. Well, I don't mean purchase as an order. Uh, oh, there's the missing phone cord we've been looking for. <laughs> no, it, yeah. All right. So this is just a, a bag I bought in Grand Cayman. It, I needed something at the moment, so I just bought a, you know an inexpensive bag. I didn't buy it because I particularly wanted to, although. You know, I have people that I buy things for and who can't use a bag? So I knew that I could get it to somebody if I didn't keep it. And on my next cruise, I saw this exact same bag with a different name on it for whatever city we were in. So it kind of cracked me up. All right, so I got this. I've worn this once. It's just a, it's like a jacket, but it's just a lightweight cotton jacket, long sleeve with elastic. It says... Um, I think it says Cozumel, what does this say? Yeah, Cozumel Beach on, down the arm. On the back it's got a big Cozumel, Mexico. The other arm, I guess both arms, do both arms say Cozumel Beach? Yes, they do. And it has a hood. And it's lightweight. It's pretty long. It's nice and long. And it has a zipper. also has this. And then it's got um, those kind of pockets that start up high, but really where you put your hands down is low. And yeah, I wore this to the movies the other day because it just helps keep you warm, you know, keep the wind off of you. It has this, I like this logo on it. I could have just had that logo and been happy with it, but that was from Cosmo. And that's for me. And I've worn it. And it's actually got a dirty spot on it. <laughs> all right, so next I ended up getting a Caribbean rum cake. These are all over Grand Cayman. And I got this for a friend, her mother. Or and it, this is a key lime because she's a Florida multi-generation, sixth generation Florida gal. So maybe even eight. So I got them the key lime flavor. Uh, this is kind of a big deal that people buy. Ooh. Oh, I got just a whiff of it. I haven't had very good luck smelling things in a long while. Then I got this glass, hydro glass. Um, it says Cayman Islands, maybe. And it's in a tie-dye print as you can see just with the okay what's that noise in there oh there's something inside of it I forgot I got her a bracelet in Grand Cayman yeah that's it. so yeah I got this for a friend I got this for her mom and then I also got a Grand Cayman baseball cap which I gave to my next door neighbor who lost hers and um, she waters my orchids for me when I'm gone so I always bring her a little something back. So she's got that. And I believe I bought a sticker for our luggage. Uh, I may not have because I may already have one from Grand Cayman or and Cozumel, but I typically will buy little stickers and I forget to include them in the haul because I used to put them on my luggage while we're there. We have kind of silvery luggage from Costco. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but probably a million people have the same luggage. So we just go ahead and buy a sticker everywhere and stick it on. And we're stickers on top of stickers because they're always you know, peeling them off or breaking them or doing whatever uh, when the luggage is handled, in, especially on airplanes. So they're kind of stickers on stickers. They look like the old time when you would see somebody's, you know, square luggage and it had the stickers on them. But it helps us identify our luggage. And more people have said to us when we were in line looking for luggage, what a good idea. I might start doing that. All right. So then I got a couple t-shirts on the ship. I usually don't buy a lot on the ship. But this is for my cousin and her daughter. The um, This one is for the teenager that I give um, boxy charm items to. And we were there, you know, at the time of this celebration. Uh, Dio de la Muertos. I don't really know how to say it. But everybody just says Day of the Dead. So, And then her mama, my cousin. Everybody looks good in orange, they say. <laughs> so, and this one just says... 
um, cruising the islands. Yeah, they were just having, you know, one of those sidewalk sales or whatever. And I thought, well, let me get them a couple of t-shirts. In fact, Cousin's going to take us to the cruise terminal tomorrow. So I'll be able to remember that as a thank you. All right. Next is our cruise, the back-to-back -back cruise. We went to Aruba, Curacao, Dominican, and then the private island twice. I know I haven't done shopping hauls on all of my uh, cruises, but I think it's kind of fun to see. I like to watch them when other people have them. So, All right, so for my next door neighbor, who's out of town right now, but um, in, <laughs> it's making noise. In Aruba, they have a, an aloe vera farm and they have an aloe vera store. Most of the items in that store are out of my price range for getting for people, but I did find, um, you know, some items that were within my budget there. And they are, they had a three for something. I, let me see how much they are. I'll just tell you. Three for $54, where normally they're quite a bit more. So I went with those. And I didn't want to, I wanted to get her something from this aloe vera place, but I didn't want to invest like, you know, $60, $70 in two items and then have them be something she didn't like or want to use because I don't know how picky she is about stuff. But I know she puts a tint on her hair because it always has a cool color to it. Like, But I got these two Color Viva shampoos. Well, they're not both shampoos. One's a conditioner, one's a shampoo. Is that their products are supposed to be extremely high quality. But, you know, I don't know. Like, I have the friend that I'm going to give this to and she won't try products she doesn't already know. So that's why I was like, I don't want to spend $150 on products if, if she were to say, mm, no. <laughs> All right, and so then for the third item that I picked, it was a refreshing shower gel. I figured everybody would try a shower gel. If they didn't like it, they wouldn't use it, but they would probably at least try it. All right, so also for her, because that was really two cruises <laughs> where she uh, babysat my orchids. Uh, one thing I get for her a lot that she likes, is she's a big coffee drinker, so I get her coffee from all over the place. And she really liked the coffee I got her in Costa Rica and went online to purchase some, to repurchase some, but it's extremely expensive to get it if you're not in Costa Rica. But anyway. So then one time I got her some in the Dominican and she really liked that too. So when we were in the Dominican this time, I got two different ones. Now I just got these at the duty free shop because you can, oh man, it smells good. You can, and they're whole beans. Yeah, I bought her whole beans and she had to go buy a grinder. So I had to keep giving her whole beans um, so that the, you know, her purchase wasn't for, for not. Um, yeah, one of these smells so good. It almost smells like chocolate. But yeah, so two different kinds. One's the heavy dark and whatever. It's just, I think she, I think it's fun just to try different kinds. Even if it doesn't turn out to be something you love, at least you tried it. And you know, to, to a certain extent, coffee is coffee. Don't come at me for saying that. <laughs> but to a certain extent, coffee is coffee. All right, then I got, and I'm just going to keep these are for me. Uh, these are also from... Uh, these are also from the Dominican. Yeah, they are because these are from the, all of these three things were from the duty-free shop, as you can tell by that. Um, <clears throat> I didn't do a lot of shopping there around a town or anything. And they are little jams. And let's see, what flavors are they? They are, oh, it says they are tropical fruit jams. And I can't get in there to read them to you. But there were signs when I was purchasing them. Oh, mango. That looks like passion fruit, pineapple, and this one looks like a hibiscus or something. I don't know. Oh, it's, I don't know what it is. But anyway, I'm always willing to try a little jam. Not a big commitment to a big jar if I don't know what it is. All right, so those are the items from the Dominican. Then I got items from Aruba and I believe Curacao. Or at least I hope they are. This is a nice little bag that they give it to you in. And I got a deck of cards. <laughs> and it's got the building a curacao in there. And I think I'm gonna give that to my friend. And then I got, for me, I got, if it fits me, if it doesn't fit me, I'll give it to somebody else. I got a curacao t-shirt, a blue um, 
Hubby says this looks small. But the next size up was huge. I knew that wasn't going to fit. So, anyway, it's a nice blue tie-dye. And then I got something in here. What is this? Oh, this is from Curacao. And it is from the Dutch shop. Everything, Delft, everything is blue and white. Where they really packed it up really well. And I don't recall what it is. <laughs> That's silly. Oh, okay. So one is a magnet. Because I had a magnet from Curacao before and it got broken. What do I do? I go buy another one that's breakable. <laughs> Silly me. Um, <laughs> and I don't break them. Hubby breaks them. They're all on the fridge. I don't know. Somehow, I'm always straightening them up and putting them back because they're sliding around from, not from when I close it. I think he's slammed stuff a little more than me. Oh, and then this is a little birdhouse. I might actually have one of these already. I wasn't sure. I did it one time a long time ago. I know when I live in Seattle. Yeah, and these are all made in Holland. And I do a bird Christmas tree some years, so I got this. So this is for me, too. So for me, I got these three items from Curacao. And then I got, as a gift, let's see which ones. Okay, I got... A Curacao hat. I don't know who I'm giving this stuff to. <laughs> I'm just kind of thinking in my mind. Um, so that'll probably go to my cousins. She wears she wears baseball caps a lot. She's like me. Just I don't know. It's a southern girl thing, I think. All right. So that noise is a a form inside this hat to keep it up high. I think. All right. So next, I got a couple items from Aruba. I thought I had more from Aruba, but this is all I'm seeing. We Oh, we went on an excursion that day, so we really didn't do a lot of shopping. When we were on the excursion, at one point, we were up by the lighthouse and by a, a chapel on the hill overlooking the sea, and I got a little um, magnet from Aruba from there, from just a little vendor, just a person kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I don't think I ever got a, a magnet when we were in Aruba before. And it just says Aruba, one happy island with, you know, a beach scene. And one happy island, I think, is what's on, like, their license plate and stuff. And then I got one of these kind of hats. I have one of these from Bermuda, but I just bought this to give away to somebody. And then the hat, it says Aruba, one happy island. So, anyway, that's what I bought. Oh, some stickers from Aruba and Curacao, too. And it seems like I have one more thing, but I don't remember what it was. But that is my shopping haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. Bye-bye.